Hello everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hi. Hello. So good to be with you guys today. Good morning. <clears throat> good afternoon. Good evening. Hi, Yoga Joe Guy. Hi, Maddie and Missy. Scissors sister, scissors sister, Bobby, Andrea, Gina, Grand Rich Rising, Sugar Milk, aha, hi you guys, it's good to be here with you guys, thank you so much Angels Network 11 for the badge, yay Mimi, you're in our Patreon, you'll be doing our live meditation today, yeah, in about an hour, we're going to be doing our live guided meditation Hi, Chad. <clears throat> really excited for this meditation this morning in one hour, 9 a.m. California time. Happy Monday, Serio Killer Night. Um, Angela Marie, hi. Yoga for Face by Susan, hello. RV Benny, hi, RV Benny. Um, hi, Zoom79. All right, um, I don't have a lot of quote unquote time. I love when I catch myself saying those things. It's like, what does that even mean? I don't have time. Of course I have, I don't, I, I don't have time. That's right, I have a moment. I have the moment. I have right here, right now, right? Um, but uh, I wanted to jump on and uh, share what was uh, coming through this morning as a collective message. Um, it may resonate, it may re not resonate, but I just was feeling into this um, energy right now around internal guidance um, and what we're all going through right now um, on an energetic level. This, um, this pull out of the old and into the new, right? And this, this pull out of the old and into the new has been going on for quite some time, years. So it's nothing new, um, but it's becoming more and more um, clear. We're starting to recognize over and over again, which apparently the human needs to. They need to see what they have been in thousands of times in order to finally choose new ways, right? There are certain patterns in our lives that we need to see 800 times before we finally say, okay, I got it. I'm going to choose different. And, um, and sometimes it's just a two or three times that you need to see the pattern. And then boom, you, you, choose in, you choose new. But what's happening to so many of us right now is we are choosing to courageously step out of these old ways. And, what, and sometimes it's really difficult to step out of the old. So what will happen is people in our lives will rattle what we need to see partners, friends, coworkers, strangers. They'll rattle within us what we are, um, <laughs> what we don't wanna see, what we're still neglecting. Um, what we wanna pretend isn't there. So first and foremost, it's never about the other person, it's always about you. If you are recognizing that friends around you may not be who you thought they were or your partner is continuing to be certain ways that uh, don't resonate with you anymore or if you are fi constantly finding yourself in um, conflict over and over again in your job, there is something that you are asking you to look at. And we have to pay attention to this there is an internal guidance system within you that's turning on. It's getting louder and louder and louder. Hi, Paula. It's good to see you here. I hope you'll be with us this morning for the meditation. There's an internal guidance within you guys, in you, you guys, that's getting louder. It has never been so clear to me that there is an aspect of me that I call, hey, Rodney, that I call my higher self that is guiding me. And I was telling this to somebody the other day, I was like, it's it, the more that I trust and know that there is a version of me, 
um, I miss the pool so much, that there is a version of me that is leading me. And it's not the version of me that I'm used to. It's uh, the version of me that has always been designed to lead me. And I call this version my higher self. You can call it God, source, universe, Jesus. I don't care. Name it, whatever you want to name it. But it's you. It's not outsourced. I think sometimes we say God because we don't believe we're powerful enough to make these, uh, that, that we can be this, this version of ourselves. We call it Jesus because we may not believe that we have the ability and power within us to guide us that there is something outside of us that's doing it, but it's truly us. And all of you, your internal guidance is getting louder and louder and louder. And what happens is there's this cognitive dissonance that can occur when we start listening to that internal guidance. Because what happens when you start listening to the internal guidance is that all of the deep programming that we have lived in around listening to the external world in order to understand who we are, goes away. All of the ways in which we have fit in, all in the, way, the ways in which we have kept things status quo, we haven't rocked the boat, um, we've been a good girl or a good boy, we've been quiet, we have, we've done what we've been told, these all break apart. They implode and explode when you start to come back in and listen to this internal guidance system, which is you. And throughout my day, I am always aware of this sort of energy. Again, I call it the higher self, but it's this energy that is with me. It's in me. I feel it around me. That is moving me. Lori, did you see that? Lori, did you hear that? Lori, do you see what we're putting you in front of right now? Lori, are you aware of what you're in right now? We need you to see this. I say we because it feels like a collective, okay? But I know that it's me. And I know that it is coming from within me. And I, it, it's, it, it, it allows me to be the observer while I am simultaneously in the experience of what they want me to see. Every single moment of my day, I am aware that I am being shown it's like I'm in a movie and the version of me that I have been most of my life is the ego. It's the personality. It's the, it's the part of me that's traumatized, that has patterns, deep, deep, unconscious patterns. It's the part of me that has um, created defense mechanisms. That's the part of me, the aspect of me that has lived most of my life. That's the aspect of me that I am releasing, meaning I am stepping out of that version that's take, been taking the wheel and I'm allowing this version of me called the higher self to start to take the wheel. I'm trusting her more, which means you have to trust your internal guidance over everybody else. And that's where you find the cognitive dissonance because we have been programmed to do the opposite, you guys. We have been programmed to listen to the external world and so you start to find yourself saying, wait a second, internally I'm feeling dot, 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 but this doesn't make any sense. Why would I feel like I don't want to be around these people anymore? They haven't done anything to me, right? There's nothing wrong with them. And there's nothing wrong with me, but this is not resonating anymore. Your internal guidance is like, this isn't for your highest good anymore. And then you're like, shit. What do I do, right? Or you have a really close friend that has shown you these behaviors that are manipulative, right? Or these behaviors that are um, just not what you thought was there with between you guys, right? And so it's not that you have to turn your back and say, fuck you, I'm out of here. But now you have to keep this eye-opened awareness around who they are in your life and act accordingly, Right, So you're starting to step out of these really blind, unconscious states of being and you're starting to take the wheel or create the canvas that you want from this higher version of you, the higher self. This is what's happening to all of you right now. There is a, the, the internal guidance is trying to get you to listen more and more and to trust. And this version of us, the ego, the mind, the personality, the trauma, the patternings, man, it's, it's going to keep pulling us back. And the higher self is like, trust me, keep going. Trust me, keep going. Come this way. Trust, follow. It takes so much courage to do that. 
It takes so much courage to trust that you don't need a reason to no longer want to be around someone. You don't need a reason to not go and hang out with someone. You don't need a reason to let go of things in your life. You don't need a reason. That's a whole big screwed up program that keeps us imprisoned. I need, a, I need a reason. What's your reasoning? Why are you doing this? What's the reason? I don't have one. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you be doing it? Because it's energy. Oh my God, you sound like one of those cuckoo people out there. Energy, it's all energy, it's all energy, right? People are gonna be coming at you because they don't want, they don't want to be, they don't want to, they don't want to consciously have to do what you are already starting to consciously do. Right? They're going to want to hold you back because it makes them feel better. It's unconscious. They're not doing it on purpose. So pay attention throughout your day. What are you receiving within you? What are you feeling intuitively, gutturally? What? And what are you ignoring? Why are you ignoring the signs? Just get real, just get brutally honest with yourself. I'm ignoring this because I don't want to face it right now. Great. Hallelujah. Welcome to being a humble human. You know, I'm ignoring what I'm really feeling, what I really want to do because I don't have the courage to confront this person. Great. Welcome to humble, being the humbled human. Just don't pretend anymore. Don't deny. Don't try to be a certain way. You know, I've said this in so many of my videos, but it's, it's so true. <laughs> I think the biggest disservice, one of the deepest programs, well, there's so many. Eating corn is a massive fucking program we need to stop doing, but that's for another story. One of the biggest, deepest programs that we have is this idea that we cannot show all of who we are. That we have to present ourselves a certain way because... I am responsible for how someone sees me. I want them to like me. I want them to think I'm funny. I want them to think I'm a good person. I want them to think that I have my shit together, right? Unconscious maybe, maybe conscious, but you're trying to control how someone sees you and you can never do that. You can never do that. We are not taught how to just be all of who we are whenever that is, however it arises. We're just, we're not. So we need to start doing that. Start letting your anger be okay. Start letting your frustration be okay. Start letting your shit be okay. Start letting the messy be okay. Start letting the, I don't know why, but I don't want to hang out with you right now. Let that be okay. Let them have, let people have what they're going to have. You can never control them. You can't control humans. Well, I guess you can if you know how to do mind control, but why would you want to? <laughs> let go of trying to control the human. Let go of trying to control how someone's going to think about you, feel about you, look at you, see you, respond, react. Pay attention throughout your day how often you're doing that. How The more you can be the scientist in your own world, like really dissecting what you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, the more you become free. The more you will be free. The more vulnerable you get, the more authentic you get, the more the holy shit, I've been doing this and this and this and I've been doing this and I've been giving my power away and I'm in another narcissistic relationship and oh my God, I went back again and oh my God, I just did this. Who cares? Just be you. That's the fastest, quickest way out of what you are in. The slowest way out is to pretend that you're not in what you're in. To pretend that you have it all together. To pretend that everything's fine. You're going to push through this. You've got this. What if you actually don't have it and you truly do feel like you're losing your mind and breaking down? Why is that not okay? Why is that not okay? Because that means that it's actually happening, but it is happening. You pretending that it's not happening doesn't mean it's not happening. Everything that you are feeling is occurring, whether you try to pretend that it's not or not, it's still occurring. 
You can't deny what is energetically arising and popping up all day long. You're trying to control it because you have judgments around it. Why do you have judgments around it? Think about that. Why do you have judgments around certain things? Every single one of us right now that's watching this, that's, that's, that's conscious, that's awake, that's courageously moving through all of their stuff, you are being directed back in all day long, I promise you. If you're paying attention, you're being asked to slow down. You're being asked to receive, which means, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Slowing down, you know, the, you're exhausted, you're exhausted, you're exhausted. You don't want to do things. You keep doing things. Slow down. You're being urged to go sit randomly. You never sit. Slowing down. Slowing down is key to receiving. And the third right now that's happening to so many of us is in order to receive, literally receive the internal guidance that you are giving you, you have to let go of control. You have to let go of control, you guys. And there's nothing wrong with controlling. So you get a message like this, right? And you're like, well, Lori says that we've, I've, got to, I've got to let go of control. When you say those things, you're giving power to me. Don't give power to me. Ask if this message resonates. Ask if this message is relevant to you. And then go inward and say, is this something that's happening to me right now? Is this something that's happening to me? Am I in control a lot? Do I control things? Don't just take what someone says and, and it's the gospel and then judge yourself for not doing what this person says. You are only perpetuating the programming of this messed up fucking guru status bullshit that we have. As if I know things that you don't know, as if I am better than you. No, I'm just sharing how I've lived my life and the messages that I've been receiving and giving them to you. And if they resonate, great. And if they don't, don't. But do not take what someone says and judge yourself because you're not doing it. Because they said that this is how you're supposed to be doing it. Fuck what anyone says. Do what you want. Period. Do what is inside here. And the, if you are starting to judge yourself because of what some teacher said, you're perpetuating this guru status type thing. They're a teacher. They know more than me. No, they don't. No, they don't. Just because somebody is a quote unquote teacher, just because somebody has hundreds and hundreds and thousands of followers, trust me, that means nothing. It means nothing. Many times you are more awake and enlightened than those teachers. Don't underestimate yourself. Stop judging yourself based on what some person on social media is saying that you need to do. And if you don't do it, you're judging yourself. Don't do that. This is all about inward focus. Who am I? What is mine? What resonates? What am I judging myself about? Right? What am I still trying to control? And be okay with what you're controlling. Wow, look at me. I'm controlling all of this. Okay. Okay, sure, there'll be a moment where I'm not. But right now I'm controlling all of this. Am I able to slow down? Nope, cannot slow down today. Fuck off. I am busy as hell, nor do I want to slow down. Fabulous. Instead of judging yourself, be in awe of yourself. Okay? Instead of judging yourself, be in awe of yourself. Practice that. Flip the script. I can't believe that I'm judging myself again. I can't believe that I'm in this pattern again. I can't believe that I'm doing this again. I can't believe, whatever it is, flip the script. Wow, look at what I'm doing once again. Holy shit, this human journey is fucking hard. Yep, it's intense. <laughs> yep. Try to sit down and meditate to listen to some sort of guidance 
and um, can't hear anything. Great, fabulous. Have fun with this experience, have fun with it. Don't listen to some other guru teacher person out there that's telling you that you've got to do it like this and like this and like this and like this because most of the time they're not even living that way. So you're literally beating yourself up over what someone said. That someone isn't even living their life the way they're trying to teach you to live your life. This is about breaking every single program that we have ever been in, which is including you listening to me and believing me. I am no better than you. I am no, I'm not more evolved. I'm not in a higher frequency. I'm just here on a mission to teach what I'm going through and that's what I'm doing. That's it. Most of, there's so many of you that could be living a life that isn't a higher frequency than me. I don't know, but this is my purpose and my mission. So I'm doing it. That's it. This idea, you guys, that of, of a teacher is here and they've got it all put together and I'm down here and I've got to look up and I've got to bow to and I've got to take what they say as truth and I've got to judge myself over it. That's a deep, deep program and that is not living as an energetic human. That's living as a programmed human. That's living as a programmed human. I'm just a human. You're just a human. Well, we're not human. We're higher dimensional consciousnesses in a human body. But I'm doing this with you and you're doing it with other humans. We're all doing this together. And we're all doing the best that we can. I'm just doing it in a way that is in the public eye and I'm talking about it. And I'm bringing awareness to how we are, what this human condition is all about. And the more that we can be humble, that we are not any better than anyone else, the more you go in and listen to this internal compass, this internal guidance that you have within you, you're going to stop judging yourself. Eventually, you're going to perhaps stop judging others. That's a hard one. Slow down, be open, stop controlling. Every single one of you listening to this on the replay or the live or whenever you listen to this, the internal compass within you is trying to get you to listen. It's trying to, it's you trying to pull you out of all of the ways in which you have lived. And every single moment of every single day is an opportunity for you to observe and observe from the laughing Buddha. Can you observe from that place of like the laughing Buddha? Right? This like, wow, look at what I did today. Golly shit. Look at my, look at my human. Lighten up on yourself if you can. Remember that you're none of what you're experiencing. Remember that you're going through a massive evolutionary shift in consciousness. Remember that you are the only one that you need to listen to. Remember that your resonance, your internal compass, your higher self is inside of you, which means you gotta be inside. And you gotta listen. You gotta feel. You gotta express. And stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stop putting other people's beliefs and truths in front of your own. Nobody knows you but you. Nobody knows you but you. And we are learning how to be sovereign in a very unsovereign world. And your sovereignty is, this is who I am. This is who I am being. This is how I am playing in the world right now. Whether it suits you or not, whether you like it or not, whether it's a part of my trauma or not, I don't give a fuck. If my trauma is showing right now, I don't give a shit. So fucking what if it's my trauma? 
Oh, well, you're triggered. Okay, so what? Yep. Next. Well, you better heal that. It's your triggers. It's your trauma. I don't give a shit. Be you. Be all of you with the triggers and the trauma and every other part of the human freaking journey. And anyone that says that's your trauma, that's your triggers, that... What, are you God? Are you, are you done with your trauma? Oh, you don't have any triggers? Hmm, must be nice. We got to stop doing that. You're being triggered right now. Oh my God, that's your trauma. You might want to look at your trauma. Leave everybody alone. Let them unravel their own shit at their own time. Let them do them. If you, if you naturally just trigger them, great. Let, be gentle. Because <laughs> you don't got your shit all together. None of us do. We're all literally trying to do this the best that we can. And the more that we can just be gentle with ourselves as we do it, the easier this can be. Right? So what? Yep. I am 1000%. That's what humility is. I'm in my trauma. Yeah. I'm in my triggers. I'm in my shadow. I am. Right. Or I'm in this joy. I'm in this bliss right now. Um, it's just like it's it's yeah, like let's keep it real. Just keep it freaking real. That's humility. Just be humble enough to know that you do not know everything. Except that corn is really bad. Corn is going to kill humans like we need to stop eating corn. I'm telling you guys right now. My li last little side note. Stop eating corn corn. You're going to think I'm crazy, perhaps, or that this is a conspiracy theory. It's not. I'm telling, and corn is in everything. I received this massive message two months ago, maybe. If corn is in popcorn, yes, stop eating anything that has corn in it, including corn. And I don't care if it's organic corn. I don't care if it's corn off a tree that you pulled. This is going to sound crazy. But corn is legitimately worse than anything else you can say out there, including 5G. Anything with corn. This is like probably going to like, yes, corn is everywhere. Exactly. Why do you think corn is everywhere? Why do you think there's all of a sudden these like TikTok milk, like these TikTok viral TikTok videos about corn? Eat corn. I love corn. It's getting worse. Corn is getting worse. And because corn in is, is legit in almost anything. If corn created polenta, don't eat polenta. It is corn. I don't know if it's an American thing. It could be an American thing. It could be. I don't know how you can get anyone to stop eating corn, but I'm telling you 2022, September, whatever day it is, I am putting my foot down and saying corn is worse than anything else right now that we could be ingesting. It is the number one poison for humanity. I wouldn't eat corn anywhere in the world. I wouldn't. And pay attention to how corn is going to start to become something that's like, everybody needs to eat corn. Like I just saw a viral video by Kevin Bacon about corn and this other viral video about this kid, like, like corn, corn, corn. This is not, here's one, one more thing and then I gotta go. It's, this, is, this information isn't about creating fear. Okay, so pay attention if you go directly into fear. Just pay attention to it, right? Um, we've been practicing this for a couple of years now. Like when someone says something like, don't eat corn, it's full of poison, we will immediately go to fear. Oh my God, I need to be afraid of this. No, 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 no. There's a difference between allowing the information to induce a huge amount of fear in you, which is disempowerment, or... Simply acknowledging this resonates or doesn't take it with a grain of salt. Again, I am not the end all be all of information, obviously. So you get to decide what's your truth. 
But is it possible to take the information and instead of going down the fear worry path, can you be in an, an empowered state and say, hmm, this resonates. I, I can understand that. How can I empower myself by now choosing? Okay, maybe I'm going to start to choose how I'm going to look at ingredients and maybe I'm going to start to choose the amount of corn I eat or I'm just going to think Lori's nuts and keep doing me. Pay attention to how fear all of a sudden comes in and you give power over to fear. You give power over to fear. And now you're all of a sudden a victim, right? Don't be a victim to anything in life. Everything that you are receiving as information is empowerment. It's empowerment. It's becoming more sovereign because you are beginning to choose now. Holy shit. It's not to induce fear. We have to be able to stand here and look at all the evil. We have to. And that's how you create empowerment is recognizing what you're in and then beginning to choose. See, many of us have believed that we've been in an empowered state because our eyes have been closed and we haven't actually seen what we are in. Now, when we start opening our eyes and looking at what we are in, we think, holy shit, the world's gone to hell in a handbasket. I'm scared. No, 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 no. Holy shit, this world is going a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. How can I be empowered and choose? That's how you want to see it. How can I be empowered and start to choose? Not, holy shit, this is crazy. I'm scared. Oh my God, am I going to die? It's a choice. Empowerment, knowledge, information, or fear, victimhood, disempowerment. Just pay attention. I don't have all the answers. I just... I just kind of know what I feel like I know. <laughs> and the beautiful thing about everything that we are receiving right now, you guys, any information that you're given by anyone, anybody that you listen to, take it with a grain of salt. Anyone, including myself, take it with a grain of salt, meaning it is not the gospel. It is not the absolute truth. Just because somebody tells you something doesn't mean it is truth. You, you, we need to start having discernment. Just because some high up there spiritual teacher tells you something about you doesn't mean that you have to take that as truth. Just because some scientist tells you what something is doesn't mean you have to take it as truth. Just because some governmental official tells you how something is doesn't mean you have to take it as truth. That's sovereignty. You choose your reality. You choose. You, that's, that is why this message is all about internal guidance. Internal guidance. You know, go inward. Go inward. Stop trying to fit in. Stop trying to make people happy. Stop trying to do it the way that the world wants you to do it. Do it your way. Your way. You know, and be more gentle with yourselves. I love you guys. I have a 9 a.m. guided meditation. It's going to be so powerful. It's in 30 minutes in my Patreon community if you want to join. We're going to connect into the higher self. We're going to play with the higher self. We're going to create a really powerful visual of like, what are we stepping into? What are we still releasing? Um, whew. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a powerful one. If you want to join us, just go to patreon.com backslash Lori Ladd. It's also in my bio. I'll save this. I'll put it on um, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of the badges. My badges are back, which is so great. And also the Divine Design is out. My book, if you have not purchased the Divine Design, highly recommend it. It gives you an, uh, such an awareness of what's actually happening on the planet, which creates ease and um, grace and relaxation into all of this. It's a massive, massive remembrance. This book is a Star Trek remembrance um, that creates a lot more peace in your life as you navigate this crazy evolution. 
I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and support. And I'll see you soon. Mwah.